Hey up guys, welcome to the longest part of the Platinum, the Mark of Honours grind. Yeah, this video could have been about 10 hours long, uh, but I've edited it down quite a bit, so some of it might be confusing, um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to list all the sort of requirements you need to do for preparation before New Game Plus, and for all this grinding, I'll link it all in the description, and I'll also probably pin a comment with it all in there as well. But yeah, I'm sort of editing 10 hours down into about, well, the length of this video. So we've still got to do the depths map. So um, first of all, just head over to the nearby missile. We just completed the game again in the last video. So all we're doing, loading the game back in. You'll be spawned back here, go off the stagnant blood. And um, you walk back to home base. I'm going to talk to Davis. I'm going to walk to the final map, depths map, the void district. Yeah, so as soon as you set foot this in the final depths map, plans. you should pop the trophy it's for finding them all. Yeah, well, we are pretty much done here, but while we are here, we're just going to grab a few things, um, just which are nearby, and they may help you a little bit, especially some of the awakes. Yeah, so there you go, Deep Trial Blazer. That's the trophy you get for stepping foot in all the map, all the depths maps. Yeah, so using our exploration build, so back to Heimdall, using Night Fog Veil along with Camouflage. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go Let's east first, on. or southeast path. We're going to get the custom gun parts. Ah, We're going to get a Queen Tungsten. We'll get a RV Mastery 112. And we're also going to get Black Bayonet Slow along with Awake MJ310. Yes, so there's the custom gun parts. Over here you got a Queen Tungsten. Next should be a RV Mastery 112, which will give you the Flame Barrage gift. Yeah, Black Bane it's slow in this chest. And then the Awake MJ310 guys, and then use your Missile Route to go back to the save point. Yeah, be quick here, because as you can see you trigger a Lost Invasion. When you come around here. Yeah, so grab that and then quickly walk back for well if you get a chance. Yeah, then we're gonna take the northwest path, get a few more things, and then we're ready for the grind. Well there's there's actually a blood code we're gonna get yet from the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood. Because you completed the game now, yeah, you should be able to get this other blood code. So yeah, just take the northwest path. Moving out. Get your wake MJ310 to begin with. Then we'll get a Queen Titanium. Followed by Queen Tungsten. And we never have to come to any other depths maps in regards to Platinum. Yes, there's a Titanium. And we've literally just got enough Queen Tungstens for some upgrades I want to do before we go into New Game Plus as well. So um, yeah, try not to spend any Queen Tungstens on anything you want to. There's some equipment we want to upgrade later just so it can make more damage. And it's going to really increase the capabilities of our one-shot build going into New Game Plus. Yeah, so I'm just going to use the RV Mastery 112. And I'm going to warp to the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood, Crypt of the Ribcage. Yeah, so when it comes to grind, guys, in normal Opti fashion, we're not going to try and just waste our time. We're going to try and be efficient with the time. So we're going to be upgrading while well, learning certain gifts and mastering them while we're doing the farm. So I'm going to walk you through all the things you want to learn to make your time. Basically, getting your, it's getting your build ready for New Game Plus so you can get through it a lot quicker. So while we are farming the farm, the Marks of Honours, we're also going to be leveling up these certain gifts, mastering them, and then once all mastered, we are then going to just grind a little bit for the presents, just so they come more frequently. I'll explain it all as we go on a bit later. But yeah, we'll do a bit of a grind for the presents, and uh, then we'll be ready for New Game Plus, guys. Yeah, so grab that blood coat, a uh, Demeter. Yeah, so that's one of the blood code. I think all we need now is four blood codes. 
and they're all going to come from New Game Plus. Yes, yeah, so if you check all your blood codes, you should have about 28. If you haven't, you've sort of missed one somewhere. And we're just going to walk back to home base. Yeah, this this grinding. But for the presence anyway, you don't really have to grind the presence. But if you've got through everything very quick, like I have, I actually completed every single trophy um, except for the presence trophy. And I was only on 16, and you need 30 for the trophy. And you can't really, you can speed it up, but you have to sort of prepare for it. Uh, I'll explain it, I'll explain it all a bit later, guys. Um, so we're coming to Missile. The Heimdall, it's not Heimdall, sorry. Hermes, sorry, the Hermes Blood Coat. We're going to learn Swallow Cutter. Stun Resistance, you should get that trophy gifted. That's for learning 50 gifts. You want to learn Floating Light, Stun Removal, Frost Bike, Strength Up. Steady Bulwark and Revenant's Greed. The important one there is Revenant's Greed, guys. Strength up comes in useful swell at points, but the main one we want to master is Revenant's Greed. It increases item drop rate from enemies. So all we're doing, there's, you still got a trophy for mastering, 50 gifts as well. So all we're doing, while we are mastering Revenant's Greed on the farm, we're also going to master the other gifts, because why not? There's a trophy for doing so. Grab that map tra glad. tower of trials on the left there, guys. And we're going to come and talk to uh, Mia here. We're going to give her the aromatic herbs. Wow, we're here to yeah, so give Mia the aromatic herbs. What come over to Io. And give her the 35mm reel. A... Yep, yeah, and you also want to give Io the custom gun parts, just give her one, do not give them both, you should have two of them. Give her one of them, yeah I'll just edit that in briefly. Yeah give her one guys and then come over to Coco. And um, you want to buy as many camouflage off her as she can. Yeah buy as many camouflage as possible, you're going to need them for doing this marks of honor farm. A very key thing about this farm is you need to be invis invisible to the enemy. Um, otherwise you're going to have all the others charging at you and you just want to kill one as soon as possible to walk back and this is where this camouflage comes in handy and then when you've bought as many camouflage as you can come over to Murasami give her the remaining custom gun parts it looks like I've got two there but I've actually got one I just like I say I have to edit it normally after this I went back to IO but I just edit it to do it both at the same time when we gave her the 35mm reel and then at Murasami guys back at her again yeah we're just going to equip Loads of different weapons and you'll get that trophy. A weapon for every season. That's all equipping every type of weapon. And you do the same with the armor. Just go over every single one and you'll pop that trophy. Revenant requisites. Requisites, sorry. And then come over to the missile guys. And we're ready to start farming. Right, so um, you'll go over to Davis to begin. You go head to the depths and you're going to go to Tower of Trials number two. Remember, to, find, to discover these Tower of Trials maps, you need to complete a game and you just loot them from that table just down the steps on the left uh, from where the missile is in home base. You just pick up that little sparkly and that gives you them maps. Alright, so let's start it off guys, a farm. Yeah, you can do this in co-op, but you're going you're gonna to look at loads of preparation if you want to do it co-op, going through the whole thing. This way we're just fighting one enemy. It's much simpler. All you've got to do is learn how to kill one enemy, not come loads of different ones, but also try to survive as well. So you want to have Jack as your companion. Don't worry, I'm going to walk through this. You're going to have Jack as your companion. And I'm just going to show you how we're going to do this. So there's going to be loads of different gifts we want to level up in the meantime. So Hermes. And the first one we want to be leveling up is Revenant's Greed. So, Revenant's Greed, that's one we're going for. Let's but in go. the meantime, we're going to equip any other gifts from that particular blood code which can be mastered and which we have space for. So, you'll do this with a lot. We only want specific gifts from specific blood codes, but along the way, we're going to master any other gifts within that blood code which we have space for just for the trophy for mastering 50 gifts it's really going to help so like I say we want reference greed but along the way we're just going to go along with any other gifts from that particular blood code which we master while doing so 
and I'll get you started guys and um, then all I do will get you started then you'll just keep farming that enemy until you've mastered that particular gift which we wanted to so you're just going to keep killing this enemy until you've mastered reference greed and then we'll move on to the next blood code I'll walk you through it and so on and so forth just do not level up until we've done all this mastering yeah any extra haze keep it keep it. it's very important I'll explain later what we're keeping it for all right so depending on your blood code certain gifts are not going to be able to be able to equip them unless you sort of got passives equipped which will increase like your strength or your decks and um, so you've got to change your approach a little bit for each blood code for this one Hermes with these particular gifts you're going to be using Jack's communal gift so Jack and then come over to this guy hold your charge attack and then quickly do one more attack and that will kill him and then walk back to your missile and repeat guys you need to make sure you've got camouflage active each time otherwise all the other enemies will see you and charge at you and this guy drops marks of honor normally once you get going I get about 12 every 10 minutes and you need 400 for a trophy yep yeah, so you've got a long way to go about 12 every 10 minutes I get so yeah 400 go what I'd probably advise, probably do 30 minutes to an hour every night perhaps until you've done it. Uh, but obviously watch the rest of this video so you know all the gifts you want to be mastering along the way. So, I've just fast forwarded a bit guys. So this is where I master Revenant's Greed. Got one more Mark of Honor there. Yeah, you'll just randomly get your Marks of Honor. Yeah, so this is probably the one I'm going to master Revenant's Greed and then we can move on to the next Blood Code. As my camouflage, I'm using Jack's communal gift, Fatal Surge. That increases your damage by 100% by the way. That's why we're using it. Charge attack, normal attack. And there we go guys, Revenant's Greed on the top left. You can see I've just mastered it. Right, so that's that blood code done. Now on to the next. Like I say, you can find a list of all these gifts in the description. Got a present there. Okay, so the next one. It's going to be Berserker. We're going to learn Blow of Madness. Blow of Madness is the key one here. Blow of Madness. But along the way, we'll just we'll learn Dragon Lunge, Balance Up, Precision, and Royal Heart at the same time. But the key one here is Blow of Madness. Yep, I don't go for everyone because some are too expensive. And normally, the more expensive the gift is, the longer it's going to take to master. Right, so just buy them five, and then we're gonna just. I'm just gonna show you the build how I do this one. Because, like I say, depending on the blood code, you have to change your build a little bit. So, the build Berserker, you always want Revenant's Greed equipped now. So, whatever blood code you're going with, you need to make sure you've got Revenant's Greed equipped, obviously, because it increases item drop rate, so you're gonna get more marks of honors. So, you always need that. That's a key one, and obviously, two handed sword mastery. They're the key ones you always need with any build. Two-handed sword mastery to increase your damage and Revenant's Greed. So this is what we're equipping. Yep, this is how you're going to do it with um, Berserker. How you're going to kill that enemy in two hits. If you don't kill it in two hits, it's going to get a chance to attack you. You have to be able to kill that enemy in two hits. So with this one, you can equip um, Flashing Fang. Yeah, so Flashing Fang is the same as Fatal to Surge. It gives... It, doubles your damage it gives you an extra 100% damage there's only two buffs which do that in the game um, flashing fang and Jack's fatal surge communal gift so yeah this is all blood code so we're going to level blood of madness but we're just going to level the others at the same time basically mastering any gift we have available with the berserker blood code like I say use flashing fang use camouflage and then quickly kill him guys You'll see, using Flash of Fang is quicker than using Fatal Surge, so it's better. The only problem is, you can't use it with every single build. So, we're just sort of, we're moving things around, depending on the blood code. But once we've done everything, our build will be pretty quick for farming this guy. And we will be using Nightfog Veil, so we won't even need Camouflage anymore. Yeah, so each build, I just should give you a few, sh a few, um... A few sort of examples of how I'm doing it that build yeah so that's pretty much it with that guy and this is a point where I master it I 
I think I've got two kills here before I've mastered it. Well, it's actually why I master Royal Heart. We don't really need Royal Heart, but it's just another one I master because it doesn't take too many more kills. The next one should be Hef Hephaestus. Yeah, there we go. Just mastered all of them. There you go. Blow of Madness is all mastered. And like I say, you can, you can keep going if you want and master Royal Heart. Uh, but you don't really need to. Yeah, like I just did there. Okay, so um, next Blood Coat. Like I say, this one will be um, Hephaestus. So back to the missile. Acquire slash inherit gifts. Yeah, this one here. The key one with this one is Swift Destruction. Yeah, that's the second one on the bottom row. So the key gift here, which we want to master, is Swift Destruction. We're going to master quite a few of these along the way. You won't, have, you won't be able to master all of these at the same time. Um, because to equip some, you have to unequip some of your other passives like Revenant's Greed and Two-Handed Sword Mastery, which we can't, we need them. Um, so I buy Inhibit Resistance, but I don't master it. Um, but anything else you can sort of master. But yeah, inhibit resistance, I don't equip it for the blood code. But yeah, swift destruction is a key one we want to learn. So now it's going to be her face, this blood code. Yeah, you'll see with this one, the build's going to be slightly different. With this one, you'll be using Jack's Fatal Surge Communal Gift again. So you've got Revenant's Greed and um, Two Handed Sword Mastery, Mastery, as always. And then we've got Swift Destruction on the passive. And then we'll go with Avarice. Yep, and we'll go with that one. You can go with, I guess, Inhibit Resistance if you want to. Um, in case you want to use that on the Crown of Sand back in the main, back on New Game Plus. Completely up to you. But key one here is Swift Destruction. And then we're just going to level up what we can along the way. And then obviously with your active gifts, just basically any which need mastering with that build. Yeah, so this one, you've already, you've already done the um, the actual cycle where you kill him. You kill the enemy with Fatal Surge. Yeah, by just um, using Fatal Surge and then doing one charge attack and then one normal attack. So yeah, I'll just give you a few examples, a few demonstrations of this blood coat. Yeah, all this, it, it does take a long time going through the menus, but once you've got all this done, guys, you, you'll get this done a lot quicker. Uh, but it's just save time, because if you didn't, if you wasn't doing this here, you would have had to do it throughout the game. And this is just a much better use of time, because at the same time, you're getting more marks of honors. I think this is where I learn Swift Destruction as well. Nope, guess it's the next one. Yeah, so here, this is where I learn it. So I've probably done a few more kills. And there we go. And I also got that trophy, guys. Burning Spirit. Yeah, there we go. Swift Destruction. I think that's for mastering 50 gifts. Yeah, so you should hopefully get that at some point during all this. Alright, so um, on to the next one. I believe the next one is Prometheus. So you've, you've mastered them one so far. Next one will be Prometheus. We want to learn Firestorm, Savvy Evasion, uh, Warden Mark, Deft Parry. Uh, but Savvy Evasion and Deft Parry, you're not actually going to master them, we're just learning them. Uh, but the key one here, the key one is Strength slash Dexterity up. Yeah, strength slash dexterity up. They are the key ones. You're going to need strength slash dexterity for your, your sort of build later. Um, I, I think it's because you need this extra strength or dex to um, equip a certain gift. Yeah, you do not need a one-handed sword mastery. I know you see me learn it. You do not need it. So you can save that money 
We're not going to need that for our build whatsoever. So you can completely ignore one-handed mastery, guys. But we do need strength slash dexterity. Oh. Okay, so Prometheus. For Prometheus, you can use Flashing Fang buff, which is great. It's a lot quicker than using Jack's Fatal Surge. Yep, ignore that one-handed sand mastery, guys. Yep, it was. I, I kept confusing that with Halberd mastery for some reason. Yep, so you've got them. You need to make sure you've got strength slash dexterity up. It's very important. Yep, then equip any active gifts which need mastering with that particular blood coat. Like I say, key, you want Flash and Fang equipped. That will double your damage off your first attack as long as you don't get hit. And I'll just give you one example of this one. Yeah, but I wish they made it easier to go through the menu sometimes. You want to be able to just come to a menu of your particular blood code so you, or any or any which aren't mastered. So you can find them straight away, but you have to go through every single one just to look for the one which needs mastering. Yeah, you could have made that a little bit more better to navigate by letting you select your particular blood code or any sort of gifts that need mastering. Yeah, so flash and fang, charge attack, normal attack. There we go. What about the missile, guys? Yep, so um, do that until you've mastered strength slash dexterity up. And then we'll get ready for the next build, blood code, which should be assassin. Yeah, there it is. Well, one-handed sword mastery, I didn't need to master that, but yeah. I've already mastered strength slash dexterity. So basically, flat one, all your mastering is strength slash dexterity up. Remember, no need to do one out of sword mastery. And once you've mastered strength slash dexterity up, yep, the next blood code will be assassin. So come into the missile. Yeah, assassin, you want to learn. You can, well, you can master night stalker. Should already be learned. But you can learn shadow assault, sharpened fangs, numbing mark. The key one here. Well, it's actually two key ones here. You've got overdrive, which increases your damage. Yeah, so you've got overdrive, that's a key one we want to master. And then we're going to learn Stun Trap, Concentration, and also Merciless Reaper. Merciless Reaper is also a key gift we need to master. So you've got two with Assassin, Overdrive, and Merciless Reaper. Great thing about them two, they increase your damage. They also they work with most builds and most blood codes. So Assassin, and for this build, we're actually going to be using Overdrive and Merciless Reaper. Again, make sure you've always got Revenant's Greed and Two-Handed Sword Mastery equipped. And then any other of the passives and actives we need to uh, master. Remember, Overdrive and Merciless Reaper are the important ones here. But they're actually gifts. Okay, so we are about done. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it takes you ages going through all these just to find the ones you haven't mastered. Okay, so you've got Overdrive, you've got Merciless Reaper. So that's what we're going to use. So we're going to rest here to um, reveal the floor below. Use Camouflage and you're going to use Overdrive along with Merciless Reaper. Use them both, otherwise you will not do enough damage. Come over here, do your charge attack and your normal attack like normal. Yep, just like that guys. That's how you kill him with that build. And like, like I say, you're going to keep doing that until you've mastered Overdrive and Merciless Reaper. There we go. Should have got plenty of marks of honours in the meantime, hopefully. Right, so on to the next one. The next one should be Dark Knight. So not Dark Knight. We're doing Heim looks like we're doing Heimdall next. 
Yeah, so Heimdall, with Heimdall, you want to master Night Fog Veil, it should already be learnt. But uh, Severing Abyss, we want to learn Severing Abyss here. It's a really good one. You can master Charge Accelerator as well. Yeah, master, so two key ones here, guys. You want to you wanna learn Severing Abyss, Regeneration Shift, and Dexterity Slash Fortitude. Up. But two you want to be mastering is Severing Abyss and the Charge Accelerator. I'm just getting our build ready. Remember, you always need um, Revenant Screed and two run a Solid Mastery. Charge Accelerator is really good because it increases how fast you can do a charge attack. So it basically makes a it makes a cycle go a little bit quicker, just because your charge attack is not taking as long. And with this guy, with this Blood Code, you have to use Overdrive and Merciless Reaper to get enough damage. And you can also use Night Fog Veil now, so you don't have to use Camouflage no more. So yeah, no need to waste your Camouflage items, you can save them for New Game Plus. Use Night Fog Veil. You won't be able to, um, yeah, Severin Abyss will be greyed out, you can't use it, but you can still master it. Yeah, and one thing we're going to do now as well is now what we're going to do is with all them, all that haze we've accumulated, we're going to just start learning everything. Don't master it, just learn as many as you can. Buy all the cheaper ones first. Basically, buy all of them except for any that cost thirty-six thousand or forty-eight thousand, and then start buying the thirty-six thousand and then the forty-eight thousand until you get that trophy, guys. Gift gatherer, and then once you've got it. All we're going to do, we are not going to rest at the missile again. We're just going to leave the missile and we're going to quit the game. The reason we're doing so is so we get all that haze back. Yeah, do not rest at the missile after buying all of them because you'll lose all that haze. All you do, you buy them all, leave the missile, quit, and then spawn back in, guys, and you get all that haze back. Um, so you also want to learn red shoes in the Fion Blood Code. So go into your own blood code now and learn red shoes. And um, you still got to do Heimdall, but there's some other gifts you want to master afterwards before you level up. Remember, do not level up until you've done all this. Yeah, so um, Artemis, you want to master, learn and master at some point Dexterity slash Willpower up. So you don't have to do this now, but at one point Dexterity slash um, Willpower up. You also want to learn and master dexterity slash fortitude up in Heimdall so while you are mastering Heimdall's gifts make sure you master dexterity slash fortitude up and then also you've got dark knight and you need to master halberd mastery guys in the dark knight blood code so 3x1 say you want to be doing mastering as well and um, like I say you find all linked in the description and then you come out down to the sky and um, just do as per normal. So I'm doing Heimdall now. Remember, you want to be mastering Dexterity slash Fortitude up. Very important. And yeah, with him, you normally use Overdrive and Merciless Reaper. I can also use Night Fog Veil now. Yeah, that's how many marks of honors I've got so far. Not too many. Not too many. Uh, but if, you, if you're using that. Artemis, you want to use Overdrive, or Merciless, Overdrive and Merciless Reaper. Or Jack's Fatal Surge. And with Artemis Blood Code, if you want to be learning that dexterity slash willpower up. Uh, when it comes to Dark Knight, you can use Flash and Fang uh, while you're farming it for Halberd Mastery. For your own, you don't, like I say, you don't have to master that um, Red Shoes. Yep, so I've done. I've just done all Heimdall's ones, and... Um, I've done all the rest as well. I, I actually messed it. I actually had to... Um, I lived up to one point where I couldn't get any more proficiency. And I actually had to... I had to buy the uh, masteries of them specific gifts. Like Halberd Mastery and um, uh, Dexterity Slash Fortitude. I forgot to master them. So I had to use my Awake MJs. But I've let you know beforehand. So hopefully you've done all that. So once you've mastered everything. You can start living up guys. But... I advise just before you start leveling up, just go and check in description. Make sure you've mastered everything. 
which you need for this next build. Okay, so once you've mastered everything, before you continue the Marks of Honor farm, you're going to come to the Den of the Dead depths map. Yeah, so Den of the Dead. I know, I'm just standing still. I'm going to start moving in a second. Yeah, so all we're going to be doing now, we're going to be farming old world materials. Yeah, we're going to be farming old world materials. The reason being is because you trade these with Shang for valuables, which you can give to your NPCs. And um, as I've mentioned a few times, when I did got every trophy, I still needed 14 presents. So the idea for this is, so while you're farming the remaining marks of honors, you'll also be passing time so you'll get more gifts in the meantime. The way the gifts work, by the way, is depending on how many trading points you've got with each NPC. So you might have 25, you might have 50, you might have 75, you might have 10. Um, normally at about five trading points, they have a, I think it's a 10% chance to give you a present, give you a present after like three hours of passing the game, and it's real time. I tried, I have tried advancing the clock on the system, didn't work. Yeah, so after advancing three hours in the game, it's probably game time that counts. Um, and after passing like 3,000 meters, and then once some conditions have been met, there'll be like a 10% chance that that MC will give you a present. The more trading points. The more trading points a MC has, the more chance they have to give you presents. That's basically why you need to increase your um, trading points with everything. And as well, once you increase trading points as well, the the actual time will reduce. So, um, say for example, with no trading points, it takes three hours before that um, trigger will occur for them to give you present. The probability chance. But after, if you get somebody up to 75. It occurs after every 60 minutes in game time, something and I useful. believe you've only got to have passed about two 600 meters or something. So it's not a lot, and then they have like a 50% chance to give you a present as well. So ideally, you want to get everybody to 75 trading points before you go into New Game Plus. So what you do, you'll just keep farming that lost invasion back in the den of the den of the dead, I think it's called. Get old world materials, and you'll come over to Shang, and you're trading for items. So basically you've got Booger Alley Doll, you've got Tomato Odin Sandwich and you've also got Aromatic Herbs. Between them three items, you'll be able to give them to everybody. It's not like they work for everyone, there'll be like tom Tomato Odin Sandwich, there's four specific NPCs which that works on, it gives them five points. Uh, Booger Alley Doll, that'll give a specific five NPCs five points as well. And then Aromatic Herbs, I think Aromatic Herbs is normally for Mia. I think she's a funny one. The aromatic herbs are for her. But yeah, you see what I mean? But all that is linked. You can read all that, guys, in the description. You might want to do that, actually, um, just to make sure. But yeah, that's the idea. Get everybody up to 75 points before you continue the Marks of Honor farm. Just keep farming. Older materials, like say, buy old tomato odor sandwich or aromatic herbs or um, bug rally dolls. I can't remember which is best for which, but it's all linked in the description. And then once everybody's at 75, you can resume the farming. Like I say, the reason being is because the presence it sort of works on like an RNG and an in game timer. Uh, but with everybody at 75 points, there's more chance for them to give you a present when that timer has passed. And I think it's I think everybody has their own individual timer. It's not basically one timer for every NPC. Basically, they all share the same one. I think each NPC has got one individual timer. I think that's how it works. So yeah, you can get if you don't want to get everybody to 75, or you've already got 30 presents, then you don't have to worry about it. This is only if you you still only got like 10 presents or so, like me. And then eventually, guys. You get exalted reputation. That's that's trophy I just got. Once you resume your farming, you have 400 marks of honors. Finally, yeah, that's a very long farm. And now what you need to do is run through New Game Plus Plus, New Game Plus basically, and New Game Plus Plus. So I'm just going to show you my build here. So this is my one-shot build, which is going to be using for um, uh, New Game Plus, and also my exploration build for getting through the dungeons quick. So this is basically it, Fion with red shoes, and you'll be using it along with Night Fog Veil and um, Night Fog Veil and Camouflage. 
And you always want to make sure you've got the pipe. Yeah, make sure you've got the pipe um, equipped. And you, if you pick a specific blood veil, you sh it should give you quicker mobility because it weighs less. So yeah, if you've not got a quick mobility with Fionn and the pipe equipped, it might be because you need to change your blood veil to do so if you need to. Yep, and that um, that regeneration passive I've got it increases it almost it almost doubles, it almost doubles how much your regeneration heals you with. So that's great to have equipped. It's not essential, but it's really helpful to have. And in order to equip Nightfog Veil with this build, you're probably going to have to equip some passives like I'm doing. So, so I think I've got if I got strength slash dexterity, I think I've got yeah dexterity and willpower and strength and dexterity. Yep, got one slot there. So with them, you'll be able to equip Nightfog Veil and use it. You got Blood Sacrifice, and the idea is you use Fionn along with her Red Shoes gift. I'll equip it in a minute. Show you. I think I forgot. Yeah, so Red Shoes, it lasts for a long time. This and basically what this means is when you run out of stamina, any stamina, any basically actions which consume stamina, will basically drain your health bar. But it drains pretty slowly, and it but it basically just allows you to constantly dash. Look at this, I'm still dashing. I've got no stamina left. But it's starting to deplete my health slowly now. But it depletes it quite slowly. So you can basically just keep doing this, heal up when you need to. You have to use Blood Sacrifice sometimes, uh, just obviously so you can use Nightfog Veil again. And that's basically what we're going to be doing, guys, New Game Plus. Just dodging straight through the dungeons. And that's it, yep. So that's the exploration build. Obviously, you always camouflage the item still. You want to make sure if you haven't got many camouflage left, make sure you buy a lot before you go into New Game Plus because when you go into New Game Plus, it's not going to be available to buy and to sort of make enough progression into the game. Yeah, but you should have at least a good few hundred left, which should be plenty. Um, okay, so now for the one shot build. Yeah, so Blood Code Queen Slayer. Yeah, Blood Code Queen Slayer. Weapon, you've got Obliterator Axe. And your veil is the Ivory Grace. They both want to be max upgraded, so if not max upgraded yet, as long as you haven't upgraded anything else, you should be able to go back into home base and max upgrade both of them. You can buy anything from Coco if you need to. You want Swift Destruction on your passives, um, Halberd Mastery. And you probably need the. I think. I can't quite see what passive that is. Um, it might be. Mind slash willpower, I don't know, we'll see in a second. But your actives, you want overdrive, basically all your actives are going to be all damaging gifts. So you've got overdrive, merciless reaper, um, adrenaline, flashing fang, final journey. You're going to have Jack's fatal surge. Yeah, you'll probably need two passives. Yes, yeah, so you've got mind, mind slash vitality up and strength slash dexterity up, guys. Yep, so I'm just showing you what I've got. Yeah, Bridge to Glory. Oh yeah, that's another one. But we actually mastered that much earlier in the game. Yeah, Bridge to Glory. The key things here is Flash and Fang and Jack's Fatal Surge. Each Lem double your damage by 100%. So they're the important ones. All the rest are just bits which keep adding on to it. Keep adding on to it. So the order you'll use it... It's, um, if you get hit, by the way, it will cancel a lot of your buffs. A lot of your buffs will like, increase damage until you get hit again or for your next attack. So you've got to try and dodge your enemy's first attack. It's normally your first few attacks. And then quickly use an attack. But this, the gift you want to be using is the attack gift is Severing Abyss. Normally what you would do, you would use Flash and Fang and Merciless Reaper first. Because they have no time limit. Since you've used them or get hit, they sort of cancel. And then after you use Flash and Fang... And Mercy Reaper, you'll use Blood Sacrifice, get your HP back. Then you use Adrenaline, Bridge of Glory, and Overdrive. You use Blood Sacrifice again. And then you'd normally get your HP to full and your Ica to full. You use Jack's Fatal Surge. And then you'll just use Blood, Blood Sac Sacrifice again, get enough health, uh, get enough Ica, sorry, to use Final Journey. And then, as soon as Final Journey is active, you swap Blood Sacrifice back for Severing Abyss. You probably want to do that actually before you use Final Journey. Yeah, once you've done everything and you're ready to use Final Journey, you have to swap Blood Sacrifice for Severing Abyss. And then you go and use that. 
So you can't actually equip every single one at once. You normally use Blood Sacrifice, and then once you've done everything, you have to swap Blood Sacrifice out for Severant Abyss really quickly. But you normally use all these buffs um, before the boss area, and then you run in and you'll be ready. The reason I'm showing you at a normal enemy is because you can use Jack's Fatal Surge now. We couldn't use it in the training area. But you see how much more damage that does. This is basically going to. Jack's Fatal Surge will double your damage again. Like I say, Flash and Fang. And Jack's Fatal Surge are the key components here. And Severing Abyss probably is as well. With the Obliterator Axe. Um, the Ivory Grace is very important as well. Because that in increases all your gift damage as well. And like Bridge of Glory is a buff which works with your gift damage. That really helps. Merciless Reaper it avoids certain enemy defense. So it doesn't work with every enemy. But normally just always got it active. Yep, yeah, I know it takes a long time to buff yourself. Yeah, so you flash and fang, uh, merciless reaper, use blood sacrifice, use adrenaline, overdrive, and bridge of glory. Use blood sacrifice, heal up, use Jack's fatal surge. Yep, yeah, then use blood sacrifice again, and then swap it out for severing abyss, and then use final journey, and you're good to go, guys. Yep, so here we go. How much damage am I going to do? Severing Abyss. There you go. 99999. It probably does do more than that, but that's a maximum the game can show you at one time. So, yep, yeah, that's it, guys. We're all ready now. We're all prepped, ready for New Game Plus. So, it's going to warp to our own base and just do some final preparations. Just make sure. Yeah, make sure guys, like I say, you've got enough camouflage. It will not be available to buy until later on in the game, in New Game Plus. It's not like everything's just available to begin with, just because it was in the previous game. You normally have to un unlock the shops and everything again. Yep, yeah, and what I do as well... Yeah, I was going to say I was going to show you that everybody's got 75 points, but I don't really need to. If yeah, so um, I got it. imagine you've done the old world materials farm and you've done the marks on a farm. Ideally, everyone's at 75 points or above trading points wise. You've got all your marks of honors. Your build is all ready to go, and you've got plenty of camouflage. Anything else, don't really need to worry. And then any haze you get in New Game Plus, you can just put into the level straight away. After after um, doing the Mark's Final Farm, it got me to over level 200. So I'm about level 205 Go going into New Game Plus. That increased your damage as well. So yeah, we're all good to go, guys. A New Game Plus. So we'll leave it there and we'll jump into the new, new Game Plus on the next video. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.